Hey everyone, I want to show you a different format that you can output your work using Adobe Spark um, rather than putting it into a PDF this week. Uh, at the beginning of the year, we used Adobe Spark to create our photo collage based on the elements and principles of design. But um, this week, we're going to actually create a web page. Um, and it's a super quick, easy way to share your work um, and really create a nice, visually appealing product uh, rather quickly. So on your homepage, um, you're going to have to click on the plus up on the top left. This option is not there in this default menu um, on, on this part of the screen. And then you're going to go down to web page right here. So again, that's under the blue plus and then web page. And from here on out, you'll have just so many um, options uh, to work with. So we're going to go through a couple of them. Um, I'll show you how um, quickly you can make a site there and, uh, or I'm sorry, a page there. And uh, then I'll show how to get that onto our Padlet for critique. So for your title and subtitle, um, I suggest you come up with something witty, something clever based on the emotion that you were um, trying to show. Um, and I am going to then just put my name by my name under the subtitle there. Um, title, well, I didn't think of something earlier. So um, I went for mysterious looking uh, images here by casting shadows in certain ways. And you'll see that in just a second. Um, now you'll notice that if you click on this box, um, like around the outside of it, it gives you the option to add a photo like to the background here. You can do that or um, you don't have to. Um, all kind of just depends what you want to do. Text, I am going to ask that you explain your process um, for taking the pictures. So I'm going um, to text and I can type. I can put multiple lines if I want, and then I'll um, be able to drag and drop them later on too. You could do a little split where you have one picture and then you describe um, how you took that single picture and that's under split layout. Um, now, when you're putting your pictures in there, you have two different options, photo and photo grid. So a photo that you upload, that would be a singular picture. And I'm just going to my uh, pictures here, some sample ones that I took. So it'll just be one picture if you do that option. Um, and it'll fill like a nice amount of the screen. But you could also do a photo grid. And that would allow you to choose multiple. So go to upload photo. Um, I'm taking a couple that I have ready. Um, and let's say this one. And then it'll automatically post them in a grid tiled out um, based on what it thinks looks best. Um, and then at that point, you can kind of drag and drop them around, moving it forward, moving it backwards. Um, and playing around with those settings there until you're happy with it. Now you can also change the settings, like for example, the type, I could have bigger text, um, whatever it is that you want to do with it. Um, all of those options are there when you click on it. Um, or you could just be captioning your pictures. And if you go to themes, you can also change the um, the theme of your page. So for example, if I went for like a fairy tale theme, um, you know, I might use something that's a little bit more illustrative like that um, versus if I was doing something and I kind of did something um, like mysterious and a little creepy. Um, so I might want to do the dark theme. Um, it's up to you. You can uh, play around with those in themes. 
until you find one that um, that also really works well for your particular um, subject there. And once you're feeling finished with that, um, then that would be the time where we um, we share our work. Um, and again, I, I want to make sure that I've gotten all my images here. You'll have five or more, and you'll be describing the process. Those requirements will be on Canvas. Um, so you can also preview it before you share your work um, just by clicking on that preview button. This is what someone would see as they go onto your Spark page. And you can see it's, it's just really well designed. Um, of course, the more I fill in, the better it would be. Um, but it's a very appealing format. Um, so you're going to go ahead and hit share and then publish and share link. If you wanted um, someone else to collaborate on this, for example, like if we were to do something in a group, we would hit invite. Um, or you could even print. Um, and you're not going to have to do this right now. But, um, you know, if you did want to uh, like take what you did here and keep that, um, you can you can save it as a PDF or print it from this uh, this format here, and again it like automatically does create a really um, a really nice looking document for you. But you're going to go ahead and hit share, publish, and share link, and then um, you know fill this out. This is really kind of just for recognition. Um, it's picking up on my um, Adobe account. I use my personal Adobe account. Um, create link. And then eventually it'll give you this link here. You hit copy. And that's when we can go ahead and bring that into Padlet. So in Padlet, I've opened up our, whoops. I've opened up our um, our board here. Down to the bottom right, I'm putting a title. I'll put that same one, and then I'm going to post that link. And whoops, not photo booth. I'm going to upload a um, a preview. So my favorite picture that I've taken. Think of it like um, it's the thing that you want to like hook your audience with. Um, I really like the subtlety of this picture. It's very minimal. Um, the shadow cast along the face uh, makes us um, kind of intrigued by it. And now for um, for our text right here, I find it easier if um, if you actually just like you put it in as a link. So for example, um, when I first put it in and I just um, I just put it in that way, like by copying and pasting, it didn't automatically go as a link. So it wouldn't be something that you can click on. Um, but instead, if you paste it in, highlight it all, then you can just paste it in again, hit enter, and it becomes a link like that. Um, you could also put um, like something different. So for example, click here. And then you can put your URL in there. I just pasted it using Command V um, or Control V if you're on Windows link. And then that would take us automatically to our site. Um, and just to, uh, to show you how that would work, there we go. So when you're looking at other people's um, works on Padlet, you know that's what you're going for. Um, then you give them their feedback, you give them a like if you think they deserve it. And, uh, and this will be all filled up with um, all of our work and it'll, uh, it'll look great. Please let me know if you have any questions about this. Uh, of course, that Spark format, it's, um, it's different than we've done before, but it's very intuitive. And I think that you will easily get the idea. Good luck.